Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to the Drinking Bros and Drinking Broettes crossover episode. Kids, it's a special day. <laughs> Why? You don't often get to meet your heroes. For me, I never got to meet Rosa Parks. I was on the wrong bus. You're, you're an idiot. But today, Tiffers, <laughs> you're getting to meet your hero. I love how you guys church this up. Way live. Live. In Las Vegas. Look at that. You can't even look at him. I can die happy. Oh, it's me. Yeah, it's you, dude. <laughs> wow, it's like whoever they are hyping up is, man. Wow, it's really. <laughs> so wait, hold on. I'm your hero? No, no yes. they really like to, they really like the that church. That felt forced. It felt a little so forced. So there was an episode yes. um, that we were all on together. I was on with the guys and porn had came up. I don't even know how porn came up. I, I, it always does. By the way, it less than does. four weeks yeah. ago. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So I had told them about this recent video that I was watching that I liked. And they were like, well, what is it? Like, describe it. So I was like, okay, well, it's this guy. I think his name's Small Hands and Gray. Owen Gray. Owen Gray. Oh, and Owen, yeah. And this Kristen chick or yeah. Kristen. And Kristen I was like, Scott. I fucking loved it. And I was, I was thinking it was like two minutes and 30 seconds in. is like a scene or something. Yeah. And so they were like, oh, okay, cool. And so Dan was like looking up or whatever. And we just talked about it for a bit. And so then... When fun. they had mentioned that you were out here and that we were going to interview you, I was like, well, this is cool. I've you played ma- the DJ <laughs> to his video. Yeah, she's masturbated multiple times. That's awesome. You. <laughs> and to the point where she looked you up Google. No, I did not. You, that go- was you great. Googled him? Okay. I, you- well, I looked up all your guys' rest of the porn. Like, I looked up all your shit. <laughs> How long I, did you spend? Because I've been in a lot it. of movies. You know what I mean? Like, to see if I like different wines and whatever. And for that, that particular one is still, like, my favorite. Awesome. Well, it just thank happened you. to be, like, scrolling through the page. I saw it. I was it's like, this looks cool. That, like, if you don't have a lot of time. You know, you have that one clip that you're like, you're, sometimes you're, you want to go down the rabbit hole and then sometimes you want to yeah, just like. It's like your order at Chick-fil-A, basically. You know what it is. Yeah, you know, you yeah. know what it is. You're you going right in. You know what you so want. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this done. She showed, it, <laughs> she showed it to me and I was like, yeah, I, I get I, it. I like it. I get it. It's a good thing. Thanks. It was so, fun. It was fun to it do. It was like when you were biting her leg. Yeah. Yeah. And I do that. I do that. Her, then you went down on her and then I was like. Yeah. Cool. Okay. You got to be careful okay. doing that in China now because they're all dying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of a coronavirus. It's hard virus. to bite when you have a mask over your face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's racist. Just folks. a little uh, bit. He's half Asian, so what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Why take a Mexican name for your virus over in oh, wait, China? what? Corona. No, corona is, is... Oh, is that uh, what they're calling... I thought yeah, it was the coronavirus. SARS, uh, uh, no. SARS. Oh, that was the old one. Yeah. Yeah. SARS is so 2000s. I didn't major in diseases. Sorry. Corona, <laughs> corona is Latin first. Oh, is it not? Really? Yeah, and it's like for no. beer? No, dude. It's it's not Latin Let's for Mexican move, you're beer. Turning in, you're turning it. You're turning into Jared. Let's just move on. <laughs> oh you're not supposed God. to promote <laughs> other alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for teaching him. I think we do. <laughs> I think we do. We'll get there. We're always learning in this life. Um, Live, laugh, learn. Some some say that. Oh yeah. my God! A lot of people say that. Shut Live, up laugh, with laugh, that nonsense. <laughs> what the, but what are the chances that we're here less than three weeks after discussing you on the show? That's pretty wild. And you're in the the flesh. Yeah, here we are. You're here. Yeah, uh, you're here for AVN, correct? Yes. Yeah. Just are you nominated? Me. I am. You are no shit for for uh, several things. Most really? most half Asian. Uh, quarter. Is that a thing? Quarter. Quarter. Oh, yeah. sorry. Most can't give out false yeah. information. Well, yeah, that, that, hey, that, that, be, that Asian's not in the dick area, my, my man. My mom's half. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think so. Part, <laughs> German, part German and Swedish too. So I don't know where the dick ah, came. That okay. German. It's Probably that German, German, brother. Probably. Can you feel Big it? Big old German sausage. Can you feel it trying to take shit over? Because then you know it's German, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's trying to conquer <laughs> pussy. Sometimes, Sometimes you don't porn. know what he's doing. Yes. What are the categories you're in? I'm nominated. For male performer of the year, best Damn. leading actor, best actor in a feature film, best anal scene, best boy boy girl sex scene, best group sex scene, and best uh, group 
trans scene as well. See, that's what I miss wow. about the Oscars. There is no best anal scene. There should be. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know it's happening. Oh, you're goddamn right. All day long. All those movies were produced by Weinstein. You know what's happening fucking more than you think. Oh, my God. Come on. He's on trial now. Too soon? <laughs> no. I'm too just soon? It's, it, I, we've been over this. It can't be too soon if the thing you're fucking talking about is are still happening. Yeah. 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 Like Australia. That's just current really events. Yeah. 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 Now you're just talking about the day. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I, I shouldn't be so hard on myself. <laughs> what <laughs> category are you most proud of? <laughs> uh, oh, I have Best Soundtrack, too, nomination, actually. That's a funny what? one. Fuck you. What's I that? do music scores. Uh, uh, for a lot of movies too, uh, I have a recording studio. Um, I used to be in bands before porn. That's I toured around in. Yeah, I was going to say your look that. is very yeah. like Blink One Eighty Two. Uh, like you know, I did like that Warp Tour scene, and oh, yeah. I played in a bunch of pop punk bands over the years. What, was, uh, what, what are the names of the some of the biggest bands? band I was in? Was a band called Phoenix TX. Uh, toured with Blink and New yeah. Found Glory and all that stuff. Um, and I did that in my twenties uh, before I got into porn. I didn't start porn until I was thirty one, I think. Okay, how old are you now? You're yeah. thirty seven. Oh shit. That's I mean, the, it's that quarter that. Japanese. Told you. Oh, <laughs> oh that, you that'll sneak up on you. Mm-hmm. You don't know about those fuckers. They could be seventy. They could be sixteen. It's true. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ride this uh, youthful wave as long as I can. Thanks, mom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fucking a man. That's awesome. Yeah. And you also have, you got some whiskey here. Is I do. I, I make whiskey. Yeah. Before I I've had many careers in my my day since I'm a little older than I appear. Sure. And uh, I was studying actually for a while to be a sommelier. I was working in fancy cocktail bars and I was traveling to different countries and studying distillation processes and. Um, at some point, me and my wife were like, fuck it, we need to start a new venture, and it shouldn't be adult-oriented, and it should be a, a tangible product, not something yeah. you can illegally yeah. download. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and five, six years ago, I started fucking doing the recipes and working on things and traveling to distilleries, and um, we ended up buying a distillery in Moore, Oklahoma, which is where it's made, um, and my master distiller is out there uh, running the operation and me and him worked together for a couple years on the recipe aged it for 26 months wow. came out last year boom wow that's exciting that's amazing yeah. Yeah. Can, we, are we, can we pop oh, it yeah, open yeah yeah, let's do it. i already have some of my coffee yes <laughs> there yeah, you go that's, that's the only way to drink yeah. coffee so it's a hundred you know? proof rye it's strong as hell but it's the, it's the smoothest hundred proof whiskey in existence hands down wow aged in american white oak Hi, uh, gonna, it's got a, a lot of like caramel vanilla toffee flavors really? and then on the very end you'll feel the flick of the hundred you'll feel it a little bit going yeah. down like it's the warm. burn it's down very in the warming whoa, whoa, whoa. it's very warming hey, on yeah. a cold day hey 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 oh man wow right. what time is it i'm gonna i'm 10 30 it. it's 10 30 here in taking vegas. A whiskey. Vegas. i'm gonna i'm gonna whiskey drink out the bottle real quick and then pour some in the uh the old coffee it's a hundred yeah. proof you're saying cheers yeah i love that so what'd you name it dooms dooms, dooms. what's that after uh, i just made up like a weird made up story about an old 50s like marlon brando biker gang Okay. The Reapers and their head was dooms, and he always had a hood on, and no one knew. Yeah. And they drank whiskey and they wreaked havoc all over. So it's kind of just a made up thing. I like it. That's really good, man. Thank Holy you, brother. Shit. Is appreciate this available it. in. in... Uh, it's available I'll in California right now. Um, and then for all the other states, if you go to doomswhiskey.com, uh, we'll ship bottles direct to consumer. That is really okay. good. Uh, we're just not distributed in bars and stuff outside of California quite yet since we're pretty new. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that liquor world. Uh, it's, some friends, <laughs> it's wild. It's crazy. Some friends of ours own uh, uh, whiskey called uh, Lead Slinger Swiss. It's also distilled. That's in who Oklahoma. makes mine. That's yes. Garrett. Yeah. It, it, that's that's it, how Garrett. I met uh, Garrett. He's my master distiller. Fuck yeah, yeah. you. Because I, I love Red Slingers, and I toured place, yeah. his thing, and he, he was the guy that, wow. uh, yeah, that's why. Fucking nice, small world. No way, Shout dude. out to Garrett dude, and Let's Slingers. Yeah, yeah, so that's Scissor Tail. Our other co-host is the co of Let's Slingers. Yeah, Scissor Tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah our, our spot is a section of Scissor Tail in there. No yeah. shit. Yeah. That's anymore. amazing. Small world. That's yep. really small. Yeah, and that's also why the whiskey's so good, because Garrett's the man. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That mm-hmm. went down so fucking smooth. Thank you. Yeah. And then it was the thirty seconds after. I was like, the warm, I feel the warmth, it. Yeah. I feel it going mm-hmm. down. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the, the flick. The flick. Just a little oh, flick, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta pass it, pass it back and forth there. Yeah. Uh, no. Tiff, you gotta share. You gotta learn no, to not share. The <laughs> no, the whiskey. No, the mic. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Here you go. <laughs> um, I thought you meant the whiskey. <laughs> I'm joking. The beauty of this is this actually, like, after drinking it, then you want to watch porn. You know? Is that, is that how nights. it works for you? Well, <laughs> is that how it works? There's been some nights where it's just like, hey, man, you just, come just home, struck proof. out at the bars. Yeah. Well, 100, proof. 100 proof solo night, yeah. baby. <laughs> I'll prove to you that you were wrong tonight. What I do is I get uh, rose petals, spread them out of my bed, right? Mm-hmm. Light a couple of candles, put on some berry white. Sure, right? of course. Damn. And then jack off into my own face. Yeah. 
And that's, <sighs> and that's a nightly. That nightly sounds thing. romantic. Yeah. I miss jacking off. I don't get to jack that off. So pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like you say you don't get to jack off anymore. It's true, right? Nah. You're fucking every like, night. I've probably jacked off like three times in the last six months, like because I just don't get to. I work almost every day. Got to save the yeah. yeah does you that save help? Juice, if you will, yeah. Mm-hmm. Does How long that you help married? to not? Uh, nine. Jack off? Uh, I've been with her, uh, Joanna Angel, uh, my wife. We've been married for three years and together for about nine. Is she in porn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She she got me, and she's been in way before me. No so shit. I, she's like a legend from 15 years deep. Uh, she owned one of the biggest mm. production studios. She's a director. Wow. Yeah, she's uh, mm. she was the first uh, tattooed girl on the cover of Hustler back in the day. She's like known as the first tattooed like alternative, mm. whatever you want a stupid name you want to call it, uh, yeah. porn. But she, she pioneered that like punk rock alternative porn. Now, does she get uh, like... Airline miles or something for getting you in? What's the reward for bringing? Oh, I'm a list status for sure. I got mad miles. So yeah, yeah. Right. I, well, I fly so much. Does but, she uh, get a cut? Yeah, does oh, she yeah. get a cut of that. Get a cut. She, she owns, owns my fucking soul. <laughs> 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 she owns, she runs my life. What do you mean get a cut? She gets it all. <laughs> What's it like though going home at the end of the night? That's what I wonder too. Like how well, well, you yeah. fuck all day, right? Mm-hmm. The, the hottest girls, and then you've been married for eleven years, and yeah. you guys bang when you get home. Uh, it depends on the day because she's also a performer too. So we may get home and be like. Hey, honey, how was your gangbang? She's like, it was sweet. How was fucking so-and-so? Cool. Walk the dogs. You want to maybe like take a bath and chill? Or it might be a day where we go out and have a date and fuck afterwards just like regular married people. Uh, I would say, though, a lot of the times it's more um, because we're both having so much sex. Yeah. uh, What we crave is like the intimacy. Um, We don't get jealous about sex stuff, but we definitely are protective of our like time with each other you know just like let's just be with each other whether that's watching tv whether that's walking the dogs we're really kind of boring and normal outside of the movies um but i think the balance of that is what keeps it working you know because if you go too hard on either end it's not gonna it's but the relationship then, the, like the if you're, if you're too if you're too ape shit and you're just having fucking orgies all the time and mm. you're never with your partner yeah, then no, then why even have a partner you may as right. well be single or, or be in like one of those poly things where there's like 10 people in one relationship is sex with your wife so how is sex with your wife like i mean you said the intimacy Mm -hmm. right so is she still like out of all the chicks that you fucked like that's the one the best one like it means your wife right well she is my wife i know that's right uh it's i'm just curious because if i was still it's not um dudes whenever i think people have make a mistake by saying like what's the best it's there's good experiences and good people and good chemistry. And then there's sometimes that isn't. So obviously I'm, I'm married or I'm in love with her. So that's the human I want more than anyone else, more than anything else. That's who I want in my life. But fuck yeah, I've had some great sex with some really hot people and we've had great chemistry and I've clicked with a lot of these girls. And I think that's why I do what I do and why a lot of us who are in this business for so long, uh, it works because we were people people you know like like i love people i like to get up in someone's grill and whether that's fucking you or just talking to you uh i think it's cool to have a connection and to to have this like intense moment like or you know if you're in battle and you have you're with your fucking brothers in arms and you have that you go through something you have an experience you remember that experience and you remember that time and that person when you have sex with someone and it's pretty epic you're probably going to remember it so i don't think anything is better or worse I'm just lucky enough to have many, 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 many good experiences and have a fucking awesome wife. Since you compared it to battle, what was your Normandy? Was there a scene that was your Normandy where you just stormed the pussy? You guys want to hear about the clown gangbang? Yes, you- of course. We, hey, yeah, we had yeah. a clown pornographer Obviously. on the show it a few was back. the most miserable scene of my life. <laughs> and this is early on in my career where I, you know, when you're, when you're a dude getting in, you 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 barely get it. I barely get to say now, but you really got to you're a soldier. You're you're required to show up. You, it's not a dating service. You don't get to be picky about the girl or whatever. And um, the first way for a lot of dudes when they get started is gangbangs because you need five guys in every one. So that's a lot of dudes needed. Yeah. And um, yeah. so I was <laughs> I flipped to San Francisco and uh, shot in this place called the Armory. It's where that company kink dot com. Uh, all the really gnarly. Uh, you probably haven't seen it. You look you look like you have what seen what. It. The really gnarly, rough, rough, insane, like tie up, 
like girl hanging upside down on a cross. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you yeah. say kink.com? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah. See, you knew her right, yeah, right yeah. away. Like what? Pieces, How do you know, you fucking Because I go dirt down bag? some fucking yeah. rabbit holes. It's I'll fine. go down every rabbit hole. You can't say you're going like down a, a little... rabbit hole when it's saved in your bookmarks at the top of your <laughs> yeah. browser. Okay? Yeah. That's you just pulling up a favorite. rabbit holes. Saved. So, so... It was my, my fucking wife. wife. Yeah. And, and where do you have time? We got Every, two small you children. Like everything but there and stuff too. So we're up in San Francisco, five <laughs> dudes, one girl. And the girl, it, it's her fantasy. So this, this website is always the girl writes her own storyline. And she decided she wanted to do like a Dick Tracy, like 1930s, like weird cop hooker detective thing mm-hmm. where she uh, – goes into the detective's office and you know she wants help with a case and of course she has no money how are you going to pay for it all of a sudden for no reason because it's porn five of us in clown masks <laughs> all come out it, put her in the jail cell and it all looks very film noir so it's pretty cool okay. lock the cell she's in there and we all just start fucking her uh, <laughs> but uh, when you have a clown mask on mm-hmm. you can't see shit a lot of dude's thighs floating around. A lot of things you're grabbing, not sure, and holes you're not sure yeah. where. Uh, <laughs> so, and all of the guys had masks on. So we're all just fucking hitting the jail cell. Like, no one can see. <laughs> <laughs> the girl is, like, having joke. the time of her life yeah. just laughing at all of us. Nobody is, like, scary anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and to top it all off, because they didn't... I don't know where they got the mask. They, I swear, they, they went to a thrift store and just grabbed yeah. a box. I got fucking pink eye because the masks were, like, oh used and God. gross. And I had to cancel all my movies for, like, a week after that. So uh, that was my Normandy. Yeah. Wow. Clown gangbang. Shit. That's crazy. Mm. And I would imagine with those masks on, it's it's Dude, it's, it's sweaty. sweaty. It's You can't breathe. Yeah. It's, yeah. It smells disgusting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely what will take me out of it. If I could be yeah. like, I see that they're uncomfortable and don't like it. I hate that shit. Well, and there's a difference between like camera uncomfortable yeah. because occasionally that's on purpose a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. depending on the the vibe of the scene. But that one, if you could have lifted the masks <laughs> off and seen our faces, I'd be. I was crying. I was just crying. I was like, <laughs> "This is my life. This is my life." Jacking off in a clown mask oh, with yeah. pink eye. <laughs> that's that's Dan's life for a, it a, is a majority of really? yeah it's rough. Of the time. Yeah, what are you gonna do though? Eh, you just you get know? up, say your prayers. So who's holding you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we got some sponsors, uh, small hands, because I want to get into your nickname after that, because um, they're not that small. No, I mean they're not that big. I have, yeah, I have large hands though, so oh. you can't. I have really large. So you're you, this is not the barometer not in which to. Large. No, oh, they're yeah. like yours. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Yeah. They're not big. It's a stupid name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a fucking it. stupid My name. Hands I like it. Don't Check his matter. mic. I'm going to get into the sponsors first. Up, we we got ghostbed.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros. You ever fucked on a ghost bed? What's a ghost bed? Oh, it's the finest mattress in the business. Ooh. Comes in a box that right to your house. Girl. You pop it open. It's boom. Three hours later, time. you're ready to fuck. Yeah. That's wild. It's All amazing. from a bed. Yes. Is there a ghost that comes with it? Well, you sleep so good, it's scary. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, Bam! That, that is Set it up and phrase. knock it down. <laughs> <laughs> they got pillows, mattresses, covers. So if you're in a, in a gangbang or an orgy, which we've talked about numerous times, got to get a cover for that mattress. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, underneath, it's going to look like a fucking Jackson yeah. Pollock's painting at the end of the night. Agreed. So... Got to get a cover. It's true. Um, they also get adjustable bases. So let's say you're fucking somebody who's, I don't know, just had a surgery. Boom. Pop open that remote control. She can move right up. Oh. Yeah. You can get her right up in the thing. Up in the thing. And then just put it, put <laughs> what it in is various the thing? holes. <laughs> you know, in the position. Yeah, like porn star lingo. The position. Have you, ever, the thing. have you ever had sex before? Uh, <laughs> we you just have. grab those sandbags. Not on a ghost <laughs> Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros today. 15% off if you're military or first responder in this life. And as always, they got a 36 month pay as you go program. No one on the interwebs is offering that. Uh, next up, we got uh, who the fuck is it? Killcliffcbd.com. That whiskey's getting to it. It's but- coming in hot. The whiskey's coming in hot at 10 Flick of the warmth, you know? The flick of the Chuck warmth. a cannon. Uh, CBD, boom, 25 milligrams in every can. Nice. Kill Cliff is the shit. So they're selling out of this everywhere. Uh, 20% off with the promo code Drinking Bros off a case. Free shipping. 
It's the only one you can trust in the CBD drinkable space. It's not coming from Asia. Uh, your neighbor's not peddling it, which we've had those before. Um, oh, yeah. Door-to-door CBD salesman. Don't do that shit. Mm-mm. Just go to fucking KillCliffCBD.com. It, yeah, 20% off. It is a big thing in, in housewife eras oh, okay. these days. Are you talking about Multi-level multi-level level marketing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The CBD world is, is massive. It's MLM. Um, it's a pyramid screen. They've got grape. Uh, it's called the grapest of all time. <laughs> I I was I, I wish it was called the uh, cereal grapus. They rejected that one. Uh, back to the drawing board for me. Uh, but they got orange Kush and mango. Again, we drink it at the end of every single night. Killcliffcbd.com promo code drink it bros twenty percent off. Free shipping and all of that shit. Last but not least, this one's for you. Getroman.com <laughs> forward slash oh, drinking bros. Yeah. The, uh, the Boner pills. You, you don't need it, but no. Yeah, but I've seen the commercials. <laughs> I like the arrogant way you said, nah, dude. But it's prevalent. Everybody's popping Romans, right? To get. I've only seen the commercials. I've never seen a dude on a porn set rip open a, a Roman pack. Really? Okay. But then again, everyone is. So we. I, 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 whatever I you do or don't do is your thing. <laughs> well, we, you know, it's funny you say that because we had, we had a porn star on yesterday, and mm-hmm. uh, she said there's a lot of dudes that hide it. So often they'll take it before they come to set, mm-hmm. or they'll do it in their dressing room or whatever. So that way they don't tip their hand of like, I need performance enhancing boner pills. But interesting, most of American well, honestly, them. most in in the industry, most directors and girls don't give a shit as long as you can do your job. Yeah. And maybe yeah. that's a bit um, uh, not medically uh, uh, <laughs> empathetic yeah. or whatever you. Yeah. I don't know what the phrase is, but yeah. like. Uh, they just people just want you to do your job. It's not yeah. any worse in the NFL letting people get CT and blow their fucking brains out. Yeah, yeah. So hey, look, if you can't, but get even it up, Viagra and shit, like, because I'm not gonna say I've never taken yeah, yeah, it, yeah. but yeah. I just don't need it on a regular basis. Sure, it's not a magic, like, yeah. thing. Like, there's still 15 fucking people in the room. The lights. You're on a kitchen counter or something yeah. stupid that's not comfortable. You still have to. It's be able like, to have it in yeah. within you, if you yeah. will, because uh, what's going to happen is you're just going to get sweaty and a headache and frazzled, <laughs> and it's still not going to work. Because yeah. I've seen it happen with new guys who don't know what they're doing, oh and like, you know, I can tell. I'm like, all right, you've clearly swallowed like three viagras. Your ears are all red, but yeah. again, you're. It's this is a mental game. This isn't. Yeah, it's like ten percent physical, ninety percent mental. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at that. We'll have to get into- Look, for the rest of you who aren't porn stars, you're going to need these fucking pills. Let's just... Let's oh, yeah. Sorry. This was a... Uh, shout out to Roman, man. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody get that shit. Go to getroman.com forward slash drinker it, bros. Yeah. You are not a male porn star at home, so don't think you fucking are. His advice is not going to help you I think you I just fucked up my endorsement deal with Roman. Damn Only it. these pills will. Discreet packaging. They come to your house. Pop it open. Your wife, mistress, uh, no one will know. Or your, your, your gay Your cats lover. won't know either. Cats won't know. Uh, hardest God thing about fucking the cats. Yeah, <laughs> God's gonna know, and then you need someone else to hold the legs. Obviously, um, before we came on air, we were talking about our dream. Dan and I had a personal dream for a new kind of theme in porn mm, that okay. we think could really take off. Okay, um, and it's called Make a Dong. So make basically, dong? it's Make a Wish. Oh, d- but it's Make a Dong. D o n g. Yes, mm-hmm. Dong. Dong. Gotcha. Correct. Um, that's that's Asian, right? Dong. Yeah, probably, probably. a lot of dongs over probably. there. Yeah, I'll go with it. Sure. So I mean, there's a billion people. Half of them are dudes. Yeah, half of them are dudes. Would so you ever so. consider going, you know, for somebody like who's got, hey man, I've got stage four cancer, and then banging them and putting oh. that on Pornhub? And all they want. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All so they want is you your know dick wow. right before yeah. they die. Uh, they want I the most amazing it. sex before they die. They might have like it's the same thing as the chick. Would you do it? I Make mean, a miss. I'm such a humanitarian. <laughs> Who am I to like deny <laughs> someone their dying wish? Plus, you raise awareness for the fucking, yeah. you know. For the, whatever disease it is. Yeah. I, I would I imagine there'd have to be some fashion of liability forms filled out <laughs> well, in, case I, in case I kill him. <laughs> it would, uh, yeah. That would be like one of the best ways to die, though, right? Probably like, wouldn't be a rough scene. Out. Probably be a real romantic, gentle scene. Yeah. Depends on what they want, right? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a, also, you know what? Um, the opportunity to fuck when, somebody. When I get a request for that, uh, I'm going to contact Please. all of you yeah. guys. Yeah. And we're going to focus 
figure this out on how to approach this. Oh, I just uh, want to see just slow music playing, and it's like you know walking in Memphis as you walk in, and the they're super excited. Like the family comes out and greets yeah. you first, and they're like, "Yeah, He's that's here. now that's Small another thing." Small hands is yeah. here. Like, and then they is walk this a you private into the thing? Do, does the family watch? Well, no, they don't. Yes. I don't know if they would. No. Watch. So many layers it of weird. On what the person wants. Here's what I want to see. Yeah, right. I want to I want to see that. the hospice nurse wheel this woman out of her fucking room, walking and, in Memphis, and pull out all of her like IVs and stuff. And then walking you know, with my feet teeth made off a of beer. Yeah, and then boom. wait, why does she like have to have her IVs? That's what I'm out? saying. What? Yeah. <laughs> Where would that come from? She's not going to enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, let you, her go uh, IV free for that. I mean, right? you could Fair. strangle her with them, Fair. I guess. Oh God! Could you imagine <laughs> <laughs> environment <laughs> bondage? <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> IV bondage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anytime you uh, restrain someone with shit that's just in real life, it's in, like this cord. Choke you with it, and while I fuck you, that's environment bondage. Environment what? bondage. Oh. That's it's real? shit that it's We're not. Well, yeah, because then bondage, know. bondage is like all the ropes and all the traditional yeah. things. But you could tie someone up with almost anything. Greta, Greta oh, Thunberg would be impressed. Bondage. Environmental bondage. I, like I don't that. know what yeah. her thoughts on uh, <laughs> environmental bondage are, but I'd we be interested to hear. Well, yeah. I think I'd have to wait to ask her till she's a little older. Yeah, that's right. She's what sixteen. Yeah, yeah. can't really can't really play in that realm. No, I gotta I gotta bump that up to yeah. two more years. Yeah. So, well, yeah. Depends on the state. I mean, there's still states where. Oh, the, Dan, this is There are still West states Virginia. where the age of consent is 16. That's not my That's fault. True. Is it really? That is, yes, yes, that is dude. very true. That's yeah. fucked up. I find it's, that yeah. crazy. It's not my yeah. fault. I'm just yeah. putting out the information. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, RBG, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She wanted 14 in the Supreme Court. Yeah. And that they'll always wow. go back to that, that thing. And they were like, yo. Holy, is it just what? West Virginia? Is no, there there's, <laughs> I mean, I live in L.A., man. I don't know anything about this there, shit. I, yeah, yeah. I think there's eight or nine states that are 18 and then a couple that are still 16 with provisions wow. for like Romeo and Julia laws and the vast majority are 17. I don't okay. know, I don't know 17, why. 17, like Texas yeah. And, yeah. and all that. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Like Florida, New York, California, Washington, Oregon are all 18. And Interesting. I think Minnesota. I don't remember. I, I remember these from doing briefs when my guys would go back. Mm. Like on leave and shit I'm like What state are you in Alright You can't fuck anybody That hasn't been born By this date And I was hand them A piece of paper That's funny man Yeah cause I don't like Dealing with people Didn't getting everybody here Have sex by 16 Nope No Not with 18 year olds How old were you How old were you I was almost 18 When I lost my okay. virginity I was very into high school yeah, Okay like, Smart how smart. How not you, smart. Jesse? I just 16. was shy. Okay. <laughs> I, I was not a ladies' man at all. <laughs> really? No. I I was like a little punk kid with like yeah, black yeah, fingernails yeah. and eyeliner, and yeah. or, you know, I was quiet and shy, and I was in like the friend zone with all the girls. Okay. Yeah. But n- I wasn't like the dude. You, know? you were like the ducky. From, I was just uh, like a quiet, candles. shy little yeah. emo kid. I don't know. Emo it's <laughs> Pretty a pink. Yeah, it's show. a theme. We love emo kids. Most of the guys yeah. that we like on the show that are fucking awesome now are like, I was a little emo kid. Like, I just was like look, emotional. Look at the rose yeah. that blossomed right? from the emo yeah. concrete. What? Yeah. You have to be in your feelings. Yeah. Actually, probably the best part for you is the fact that you already were a good friend to all these girls, and then later on you grew up to be hot and fuck well, so it worked out for you. I'll, I didn't say those words, but I'll take I it. I did. Thank I, you. You're welcome. <laughs> Has anybody contacted you from high school and be like, oh, shit, man. Yeah. I've seen you fucking. I get... A lot of interesting messages I'm from sure my past uh, ex-girlfriends, girls I just you know had sex with at some point in life, um, girls who I didn't have sex with at yeah. some point in life. Uh, um, did, you, did you go back? You try to hit that up? No, just messages like, you know, some of the ex-girlfriends will be like, so can I tell all my friends now I used to date a, porn, a famous oh, porn shit. star? Yeah. And then some of them are like, you know, you're disgusting, you know, like whatever. Uh-huh. And then well, I then stop watching my and then I get stuff. and then I get some who are like so doors always open if you ever want to I'm like I haven't seen you in eight years <laughs> how you doing <laughs> yeah how's your uh, kids and husband oh my god <laughs> mm-hmm. oh they're, they're just oh, looking they for have a sexual a shot fantasy with you the DMs get crazy wow I'm sure I bet they do. I'm sure it's the same for your wife though too right oh yeah yeah hers are more like. Uh, what you'd think you, oh my god you're pussy oh you, i love your butthole oh i want to fuck you pretty yeah. pretty okay. standard sure. the stuff i get because i it's just different because also i get a lot of guys writing me too oh and the guys who write me who are fans are also pretty standard you know oh you're hot whatever i like your dick cool whatever yeah. thanks bro i'm not gay either oh no but they are no i, I mean i got dick, fans bro. of every yeah, yeah. every spectrum uh-huh. and it's, yeah. it's rad i especially because um I'm just being me and to yeah. have everyone else think that's cool. But the girls who write me are the 
craziest. They write the most insane shit. Of course, of course shit. they do. Girls are and always And it's never close. just like, fuck me. It's like, I want you to come over, throw me in a yeah. closet for a week, don't feed me, then come back, fuck <laughs> me, kill me, put me in the trunk of your car, drive me to the woods, fuck my dead body again, and leave me. This there. sounds about Thank right. Thank you, daddy. We, we have... Like, yes. These fantasies built up in our head, and we like we have them down to the, the science and the yeah. detail. No, and it's very detailed, and it's always oh God, very yeah. like there's a whole thing. It's not just like bang me. There's like a story to a it story, and a fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, yeah. I don't ever respond to any of them, but I, I read almost all of them. So if anyone out there is DMing me, I probably read it. <laughs> but no way am I writing you back. <laughs> It'd be a great coffee Sorry. table book if you put all those oh. together. All right. One day I should just like print out. At all the, of them, the thousands of them, and just blur out the thing, and just the messages. Yes. It would Dude. crush forever. That's it a great would, idea. Yeah. Again, now I have to circle back around to you when that comes around. Exactly. <laughs> if I put it out without your uh, <laughs> consent, <laughs> I give you that idea. Thought process today. today. Your wife and us will take a cut of that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. Well, yeah. sounds about I'm, right. <laughs> Jesse's on fucking gang- gangbang porn. No, uh, not gangbang. Jesus but Christ. Christ. No, I don't. I don't. But I don't love. Gangbang. I like the I like the bondage stuff. I, yeah, if that like whatever, like the, it feels like there's this big warehouse where they do a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Is that true? There's a few of them. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. And they have like yeah, a bunch I of different the, sets. Oh, the, the rigs and the yeah, harnesses yeah, yeah. and the I things. Like the normal bondage stuff, not the stuff that's actually like probably tearing into them and making them bleed and shit like that. No, but nobody does yeah. that. No. Who does that? I don't know. Haven't you, isn't there stuff that's oh, pretty? Oh yeah, I've oh, seen some pretty, fucking crazy. I mean, shit. No, not, none I don't of the major studios are making anybody bleed. No, no. Hanging oh, yeah, somebody yeah, from the back, yeah, yeah. but that's different. But that, like, it'll be red, but it but won't be like so. blood and like cutting people. Well, what it is is you got like anything. I'm a professional and I know how to use these tools. Where for the camera and the viewer, it's going to be very real to you. Yeah. yeah. But I also like I I flogged and whipped girls many times. Where yes, you'll see marks all over, but I know the t- tool I'm using and I know the pressure and the way to do it where in 24 hours they're gone. Oh, it's not, perfect. it's yeah. literally for the camera and it's, and it works because look. And a lot of the ones, yeah. like, wow, yeah. it's intense. I mean, and it is intense. Like you're getting fucked in the ass, getting whipped. Yeah. Like that, that's not fake. That's real. Yeah. But I'm not doing it to like make you like bleed or like break mm-hmm. your fucking bones or, you know, like that's insane. Yeah. Or to <laughs> really hurt them. And I like afterwards really do like it an interview at the end where it's like, that was fun. Like they're out, you know, they're even, robe now. They're like, Thank it's an excellent you. interview. When even the most, <laughs> even the most gnarly rough scenes, um, which I think most or a lot of people don't understand is the girl is calling the shots oh. on all the boundaries on all, like before, even before the scene, we get together and there's a thing called, what are your nose? Oh, cool. So I go, Hey, you know, we're about to fuck. Like what, how do you feel today? Like, what are your nose? Or just, what are you not into? Yeah. Some girls, oh, I have extensions. Please don't fuck with my hair. Uh, Smart. I'm weird. I'm weird about my ears. I don't like my ears being touched. Don't do that. Or don't smack my ass or do smack my ass. Please choke me. Don't, <laughs> yeah. choke me. you know, and there's, and then you get a sense. Okay. I think I know where, where we can like. go in this because the oh, goal shit. is not to like make anyone feel feel bad it's to make them feel good yeah. but you can make someone feel good and make it look gnarly at the same time oh, yeah. if it's the right person because there are plenty of girls who don't want to do that and they just do the softer like housewife kind of vanilla porn and mm-hmm. i do plenty of that and that's fun you just make out and you love and then there are girls who really want to fucking push the limits and like they're having fun <laughs> is it always like that every single time because i think i just assume because i don't know this world mm-hmm. right and just being a viewer that you have a director going you're gonna do this you're gonna do that like i don't care what you guys want like no. is it always like no. you just said it is it's it's because that i actually would like i like it the, more the, because you said that the now. quick like how it works is like okay there's companies and directors uh-huh. and they'll book a guy and a girl and not because i've been around if the company and the director is someone I know. I already have an idea of probably the style of fucking they're going to want. Okay. And then when we get there, if there's something very specific, like if it's an, an anal day, that's not a surprise. The girl knows. She yeah. agrees to it. Her agent, everybody signs off on it. And then we'll go over this discussion thing. And then, you know, they'll say, like, this is kind of the, the lane I want you in. If it's a movie with a plot and everything, you got to be in the characters. So mm-hmm. then it's whatever that is. If it's just a dungeon scene, that's going to be a rough, rough, pretty gnarly day. If it's just two lovers on a couch you might just make out and be chill so it's it's really the uh, the girls like absolutely run the show with okay. like boundaries and um when you see something like super extreme like that i i can promise you like that girl she's asking for she it she's begging for absolutely it absolutely wanting to be there if anything some i had to learn how to get a sure. little crazier cuz i was not so gnarly at the beginning and my wife had to train me like really? i never i never hit a woman 
ever yeah in sex or outside and the first time joanna was like like slap me and i was like she's like what are you a fucking pussy oh my gosh and i was like oh shit well i don't know how to you know and so like there's a way to do these things practicing at home well this was way back in the day before i was even in porn i was just a boyfriend yeah Yeah. and you know i thought i'm in a band i fucked a lot of girls i got humbled very quick once i started dating a porn star and learned i was not very good at sex and then i learned I want to go back to what you said about uh, the girls run the show yeah, and about yeah. being you know, hit or whatever it is, right? What about in the case of James Dean where there has mm-hmm. been numerous women who have come out and said he was uh, too aggressive in scenes. I don't want to fucking work with this guy. Mm-hmm. He beat the shit out of me or you know, mm-hmm. th- he was too forceful. Mm-hmm. Do you know him? Because and, and, right now <laughs> there's been a lot of these allegations <laughs> and it's Still giving – no, but it, 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 he's giving a bad name to a lot of male uh, porn stars, seemingly. But mm-hmm. I don't know the real story, and you might. We don't have enough time uh, for the real. Yes, we do. It's a podcast. We're. we're I'll, I'll, I'll give you the quick thing. Uh, I've never said one word to him, nor will I ever. Uh, I won't be on set with him. Uh, my wife used to be engaged to him. Oh. Uh, oh shit. So I know so much. Yeah. But I'll just leave it at. Um, I'm very aware of all of the allegations. I believe all the women. Uh, That is the case, in my opinion, of like a rock star who gets unchecked and gets too big, both in his head, in Mm. his wallet, and everything, and thinks that uh, you can just do whatever the fuck you want to anyone without any regard for someone else or ramifications. And uh, I don't subscribe to that, and that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Yeah, because I, I yeah. so we're I don't I don't like him. Yeah, got it. Yeah, because again, I've read you know every article there is, and you don't know the real story, mm-hmm. and especially in the era that it it has happened. The good with the thing, Me Too actually, era. Uh, one more thing I'll add to the good thing that came from that whole everything blowing up is now more than ever these girls are not taking shit good like, yeah. at all. Yeah. Not from directors, not from the lighting guy, like. <laughs> if you're on a porn set yeah. and you act out as a, as a dude, you will not be there very long mm-hmm. at all. Like, like in any role you play, it's just it's just the way of it is. You know? It's sad it had to get. It's to the that way it point, should be. I right? mean, you know? but it's sad it had to get there. Yeah. But it's good, just like you said, that it's brought this exposure to it and it's changing. I and again, I wasn't around back in the day, but I imagine that a lot of these stigmas come from maybe how it used to be a little bit. Uh-huh. Again, I'm just speculating because mm-hmm. I, I can't speak on something I wasn't around sure. for. But all my experiences um in the last six years have been man, pretty like female centered sets, like all the time. Um mm-hmm. and you know it's it's makes for a better movie because if that's your star and she doesn't want to do something, yeah, why the hell do you think that's going to translate like well? Like yeah. especially when there's a billion people, there'll be a, another girl who wants to do whatever this girl doesn't want to do. So if you just kind of understand the system of it, um, it's it's pretty cool. Have you ever uh, been asked to do a celebrity porn? And I I hate to bring up James Dean again, but I remember the Farrah Abraham one. Um, uh, I, I heard he was booked. I've out. had celebrities message me. Yeah, Whoa! yeah. Uh, I actually did a movie uh, with really Bella know. Thorne. <laughs> Uh, oh no shit well, she wasn't I'll rephrase that she directed she made her directorial debut last year and yes. there was a little bit of sex in this very regular real movie uh-huh. uh, so I was the lead and she cast Abella Danger who's a very popular mm-hmm. female star wow. and um, yeah Bella Thorne directed me in the lead in a movie it was that's cool. fucking rad yeah, it's yeah did, called, she, did she message you how did that work did uh, you go through a normal casting process how did I get that gig I think her assistant was a fan of mine. Okay. And I got a message like, hey, this is Bella Thorne's assistant. Um, we're doing this thing. Can I you know, talk to you about it? And I'll be honest. I didn't know who Bella Thorne was because mm-hmm. I'm kind of old. And I, she's like a child. Yeah, star. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I and then I started Googling her. I'm like, oh, my God, God. This girl's like so famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you get nervous? No. Or no? Why? No. Well, I don't know. I just ask. Like, you're. I would be. No. <laughs> okay, so which People celebrities have reached just... out to you then? Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Forrest Whitaker's got to be one of them. No. Uh, oh, yes. my God. You know what's funny? I get a lot of messages from female rockers in bands hmm. uh, and DJs. Like, a lot of, like, really hot girl, like, European DJs are, like, messaging me, like, oh, if you're ever in Ibiza, come to my... That's got to yeah. feel good, right? It's pretty cool, yeah. Like, nice pattern back. I mean, like, you, you got to take it 
all this is silly you know it's not like really real so oh, it's sure. cool but sure. like it's funny like i'm not sitting here like oh look at me you oh know? no 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 we're but we're kind of like yeah, excited it's, for it's, you like it's a fun cool. laugh like me and my wife will look through dms in the morning in bed i'm like yo look at this one. Oh my god <laughs> and, we'll, and we'll, com- we'll compare like crazy messages and shit yeah. well, i love it i think i love it more for you because you're so humble and down to earth is why i'm I, like i oh, think this is fucking once cool. you get too arrogant then uh-huh. that's there's no way to go. Yeah, down. I mean, that's pretty much what's going on here. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm on Look, down He's got a yeah. fucking mustache, for Christ's sake. Uh, it's it's a, a healthy mustache. <laughs> very Tom and I appreciate you saying it's that. It's healthy. Oh, God. Tiffany you're... made fun of me initially. No, it's and full. It's lush. Because my husband yeah. can grow a, a nice ass. Big, I'm jealous. I can't. Mustache. Dude, quarter Japanese. It'll take me like a month to even get a stringy <laughs> little fucking thing. Yeah, I can't go sides these, though. I can't grow a beard. Okay, so we all, we all. Sweet stash. We all have our things. Yeah, we all got, we got, so we got our things. You can give mustache rides that I can never, oh, ever give. Wow. And they're a dollar. You can do something to a woman I could never do. No, yeah, well, you can. <laughs> you can get Well, a, maybe in like five years, but it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do you hear that, Jesse? You lucky that. bitch. Yeah, you lucky bitch. Bitch, stop watching bondage without me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, get over it. Get this girl to no, church. No, here's, the, here's the difference. If I'd have known she was in a bondage, I would have, told, I would have tied her up last night. Fuck. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not into. Do you even understand how porn works? How no. sexuality works? Tell me. Do you sometimes get. Sorry, excuse no, me. I talked no. to my husband for a fucking second. I'm just going to pour yeah. myself um, some more whiskey so, for this conversation. <laughs> so you watch things sometimes that you're intrigued to be done to other people that you would actually never want to be done to you sometimes yeah like i wa- I like to watch people get murdered for example but i don't want to get murdered. i don't want to get murdered yeah it's fair i don't want to get murdered yeah, um, yeah yeah but i do murder so i guess maybe that's not a great example so i don't me i, I don't i don't like to watch shit that seems unrealistic in real life that i would never like like bondage doesn't do it for me i'm like it, i like any fantasies about though and i like anything real like if these like he's saying like the girls like that whatever it is that the girl likes or people are like into whatever that may be turns me on. Okay. N- whether I want it to be done to me or not, if I see other people getting true and it seems like sometimes the girls, guys, whatever, fully like that Love shit. It, yeah. So I'm like, okay, that's So you like I- genuine, like an enthusiasm for what the yes. person is. Got that's it. why I-, I feel like I can tell when an orgasm is real. For a chick, some good actresses. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yes, I'm, there is. Yes, there well, is. I'm gonna tell you right now. That's why I think I like that Kristen chick then because she does oh, hers really are real. well. Very well that's why. That's why I told you. Hers are so did. fucking real. Her body shakes so much, and that turns yeah. me the on. Whole, the oh, yeah. whole, the whole building felt hers. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, What's her last name? Kristen Scott. Scott. Okay. Scott yeah. I've worked with her many Whoa, times. Like she's, the actress, Kristen Scott. I mean, she's a porn actress. There's another one who yeah, won a bunch of awards, but maybe she hey, took her name uh, from that. Huh. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, Kristen's amazing. Yeah, yeah. She's, but you can tell that is that's happening, and that turns me on watching that. When a lot of people m- mistake like you're watching something, so there are girls that have orgasms that are not very visible, but they're very real. I can yeah, feel it. Yeah, yeah. But maybe yeah. they're quiet, and maybe yeah. they're just not as. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there are girls that are fucking hollering all over the place. And I'm like, this is, this is, you're, you're lying. You're, you're lying. lying. You're a liar. You're lying. Cause you, cause you can feel it. Yeah. And you know. Like, or just, again, I can't say that I know every single sure, time sure, sure. that would be, but I have a pretty good, I can tell usually. Do you guys talk <laughs> yeah. about it afterwards in the dressing room of like, hey man, did you fake that? No, why? That's kind of like sports. Where for it's just for like, me, I'm like, I don't even want to know. If it was yeah, so good yeah. that it convinced me, sweet. Probably Fine. convince a viewer, and yeah. if, if it, I don't know, like I don't want to, you know, like like yeah, yeah. yeah. high five out of there on a high, it. not a low. Yeah, yeah. Has there ever been a girl who's been like, hey man, that w- all the shit you were doing today was was not fun? No, I wasn't into it. No, um, God, that'd be horrible if that happened. Yeah, right. That sounds. Uh, thank God. We heard, yeah. well, and the reason why I asked, but we heard we heard some stories, um, and then we'll get into these now, mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, we heard some stories of of girls being unclean, unintuit, it, showing up on drugs. Uh, we heard I, heard I heard one yesterday about somebody being so stinky on set, like oh okay, pussy like, hi- wise down wise, below, yeah, everything yeah. else not not taking care of their, their self hygiene wise. That other people afterwards that were acting with her were just like Jesus Christ, man, don't ever fucking book this girl again. Yeah, I mean, again, this it doesn't happen very often, so I don't want people to think that yeah. this is just like wow, and it especially always is. at the level that you're but at right now. But of course, I mean, look. 
you think if you work at fucking Geico or work at a bar, someone's never going to come in fucked up, hungover, right. drunk, late, smelly. Like yeah. it's just every work environment yeah. has people who are smell good, who don't, who are hot, <laughs> who are not, who are assholes, who are nice. And the same rules apply in porn. I think it's just a little more right out in the open you know yeah if you work at geico and your pussy stinks <laughs> you can hide that shit <laughs> karen keep that dirty pussy yep. in those jeans yeah, yeah. karen um, and, and honest karen. and a lot of it too is just um uh, how do i say this in a kind way some of the younger performers just don't know they don't know their okay. bodies yet they don't know how to do things and so rather than be mean because no one shows up on purpose like that yeah no yeah. Half the time they are not even aware of it. So maybe in like a kind sort of like mentory way, right. you're like, hey, um and I don't because oh, I'm not a female, but before. like my wife has had this talk sometimes, or you know, female yeah. directors be like, Hey honey, like just to let you know, um, you might have a yeast infection, you know, or whatever oh, the hell yeah. it is. And and again, like, but this is like part of life. These are bodies, we're exchanging fluids. Like you think a girl has never shit on me during anal? Like it just happens. Like yeah. no yeah. no big deal. Yeah. And so Again, I'm here to be a, a soldier on set, a warrior. I'm not here to fucking be a baby. So unless it's like so bad that, you know, <laughs> the neighbor is like, something smells. <laughs> uh, you know, like, like, fuck it. Like, no, nah, like, what? I'm not going to die. Like, go take yeah. a shower. Like, no big deal, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, who's your favorite to work with? Uh, see, that's another one. Like, favorite. I have so many favorites. Like, really? let's go top five. You're gonna piss off. I know, I'm gonna piss off everyone. I know. I'm just gonna say five men? girls off the top of my head that I worked with a lot and that I really love: uh, Abella Danger, Asa Akira, uh, Riley Reed, hmm. Kenzie Reeves, uh, Jane Wild, Anna Fox. I don't know, that was more than five. I mean, yeah. I, literally, yeah. I, I work with right? like every girl, and 95 percent of them are amazing both in personality look like amazing amazing i'm the luckiest dude to get to do this and the five percent that aren't it's whatever like not a big deal those are just days i guess or that's a work day you yeah. Know? yeah 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 watch the clock day yeah. you know yeah. like, like whatever <laughs> oh my gosh yeah, yeah. it know? would be awesome if you had to punch out in porn like you got your card and at the end of the <laughs> chink chink yeah, yeah. See you tomorrow know, right yeah. you know with the time stamp i'm like yeah. holiday I'll, parking are we I'll, going to chili's yeah, yeah i know right <laughs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on like funny porn? Because I I'm into it, but funny, not like not yeah like just like it's it's really campy and weird. Oh yeah, like it's the best. It's not like I'm pounding off to it, but I watch it like it's mm-hmm. a fucking a TV episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. My like, wife has won best comedy like seven times at the really? end. Yeah, she's like known. She's the girl who makes like campy, wacky John Waters style. Yeah. Like, Look just, up his that's wife. just hilarious. Joanna Angel is her name. Yeah, Joanna Angel. Yeah, I, she yeah, looks she's, like a she's really famous girl version of me. She's like a little yeah, tattooed, yeah. little teeny dark haired thing. <laughs> Joanna Angel. You know the ones that I don't like? I don't like when there's blooper reels. I just don't think there should be blooper reels in porn. Because it's, it's exposing everything <laughs> it that you're like. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just like, yeah. like It's like a magician explaining his jokes. Yeah, or his tricks. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's yeah. one of those yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I don't wow, you, see you really the... loved me fucking in that shower. Did you see the time I slipped? And you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Grabbed the rail and then ate shit. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. you, you, you know, you watch one one time and you're like, oh, fuck, man. I didn't yeah. want to see that. Where. I think the the funniest parts of porn are usually just we're all half the time just laughing how dumb it is. Mm. Like yeah. you know, you're my stepmom. Like come on, really? Like like yeah. like we're all just in between cuts. Like you know, this we, is so silly. We, we often yeah. do. Yeah. We often do the same. We'll have a. Huh. We did a whole show two weeks ago about octopus dicks. Mm-hmm. Just nonsense. And then after the show, we're like, wow, we got paid for that. It was great. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's the yeah, dumbest it's kinda, shit yeah. I've ever we done in my life. I think, life. wow, I got the paid fuck for that is going a lot here. in my life. <laughs> um, let me ask you this. When do you find out on the call sheets uh, who you got the next morning? Uh, for the bigger movies, maybe maybe a week ahead or something. Um, but for most of the stuff, maybe the day before. you know. Um, and I'll just get an email or a text with time, address, who it is. If there's anything specific, you know, anal, if it's a whatever, uh, and then w- whatever wardrobe, you know, and that's it. Yeah. That's all I get. But and if, if there's a script, I might get it a couple of days before. So um, like anal, do you know the night before? Or is that kind of uh yeah, I, I know that I generally know the night before everything. Okay. Um, it, it's usually like a day or two before we get all the information. 
Uh, and what about working with other dudes as far as like gangbangs and yeah. things like that go? Do you, have, do you have buddies like yeah. that are best friends? Yeah. Or you're like, it's, hey, man, I'm working with Rex today and this guy's dope as shit. Like, it's going to be a fun day. Gangbangs, DPs, like anything with multiple guys, especially um, uh, for lack of a better word, like cis straight guys. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to be pretty cool with each other and pretty comfortable with each other um and also it's it's weirdly like a fucking like a ballet like it's a dance with so many bodies and limbs and positions and the rhythm of it and if if the guys aren't vibing it's actually a disaster yeah so actually the most important thing in the gang ring is who the guys are yeah 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 because they're the orchestrators of this dance you know and uh if a girl just picks like five guys she thinks are hot but they hate each other or because no. I would imagine th- with five dudes, just let's just pick that number. Mm-hmm. There's got to be that's the standard. Five guys, one girl. Okay. That's the, standard oh, oh, okay. that's the classic oh, that. number. Uh, that, maybe that's how it's the bur- like the burger. Yeah, maybe well, you watch a lot of gangbang. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I need to figure it out. Well, uh, look, I'm just a big fan of the hamburgers. Um, maybe that's why they named it after that. It was a bunch of dudes that like five the gangbang. Guys. Five guys. Um, <laughs> is there? I would I would assume in some cases it's just a bunch of alphas walking in, and then you all. Don't get along. You're fighting or competing in certain scenes of like, dude, I can shoot a triple roper. I can fucking quad that rope. You know, I can double dutch it. That rope. Yeah. Fuck, man. Porn dudes are interesting because you absolutely have to have an element of that alpha miss to do this job. Yeah. Or else you're left in the dust. But you have to almost like a weird like Yoda Jedi. You have to be at balanced on the other end, too, because if you're too much of a fucking brute and a chest beater nobody's gonna want to deal with you and you're you won't get work so and the situations in gangbangs like let's say i'm in one and there is a one super alpha dude Mm -hmm. i'll just follow i don't need to be a hero like whatever bro like you want to okay and you know (laughs) i'll get in line follow the rotation and fucking do my thing and get paid and go home no big deal yeah uh but i've seen I've seen dudes almost getting into fist fights. Oh <laughs> like oh, naked shit, during the scene, yeah. naked fist fights over the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Not over the girl. It's just egos, man. Yeah. That's the oh, biggest killer. Yeah. These, these again, most guys are cool, and especially the ones if they last long. The ones who are all over the place don't really last too long because uh, they're impossible to deal would, with. Sure. This would be a good uh, TV show. It's it's like UFC except for the dudes are naked and on Viagra. Uh, so there great. there was like one time <laughs> like we were all we were, fist fight. <laughs> this is good. we're all in the desert out. doing like a Mad Max type gangbang mm-hmm. thing. We're all weird paint on, and we're in like some broken down house. And uh, I can't remember. One guy cut another guy in line. It's so stupid. Like the rotation, you know. Oh, There's like a rotation. <laughs> <to it. laughs> and oh all gosh. of the all of a sudden, are there numbers like, like a, a deli counter? Yeah. 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 Do you get a number? Like, yeah. <laughs> You're third in the gangbang. Not, not really, but, but there is like an unspoken rhythm to it. We're like. If there's five guys and you just fuck the girl for 20 minutes, what are we all doing, dude? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, like, hey. like, like, like you couple minutes in and then you pass along, you know, da, 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 and they start yelling at each other and we're all like filthy in the dirt. And like, now my dick's soft. Cause I'm like, I'm like, God, okay, here we go. <laughs> and they're like naked. And you know, like the girl is like, uh, hello. Isn't this supposed to be about me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And you know, like whatever they, it was fine everyone cool off for a minute and finished and you know they're high-fiving each other it's like Cut naked in line it's like naked bell. and afraid but it's two <laughs> but guys oh yeah they're all boned up and they gotta fucking fight each other yeah oh i like that i've, Why I've you seen up with such stupid tv ideas because that's what i do for a job <laughs> yeah have yeah. you watched Hello? this show you've been on it <laughs> asshole it would be hard to keep a boner. You're like you're like on it today. You ever seen Eastern <laughs> Promises with Viggo Mortensen? Oh god, the movie was brutal. Yeah. Right. There's a the four shower thing, buck yeah. naked yeah, yeah, scene yeah, where he's fighting gnarly. completely with his dick out, and it was yeah. like a lot of people came down hard on Vigo for his his length in that one. But it's like, hey, bro, that's Dude, a four day shoot. Yeah, fight yeah. or flight, buck man. naked. Yeah. yeah. Like your body tenses up when you're in a fucking fight. Like yeah. That. Also, who cares how big your dick is? Soft. You don't do anything with it. Soft. Well, well yeah. Is, yeah. Yo, my dick is very small. Soft. I'm a grower, not a shower. So. It but, it, matter. but who cares? I don't matter. fuck you with a exactly. soft dick. I fuck you yeah, with exactly. the one that's hard, you know? <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> How did you come up with your nickname? Why small hands? Yeah. I knew we were going to get to that. Uh, <laughs> I thought I'd save it for every yeah. fucking yeah. interview. I, I, uh, I wish I had a cooler story. It's, it's really dumb. Basically, so my porn career started as me not thinking it would be a career. Uh, my wife, who was a director on a production company, uh, for the first two years we were together, I just played in bands. I was doing the bartending stuff, all that mixology stuff. And at some point she was like, 
I want you to do to do some porn. No, I just said, no, I don't want to do it. I've been on set before. Mm-hmm. I've watched how this works. It's a difficult job. Yeah. No pun. It's a hard job. No pun. <laughs> yeah, 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 there it is. <laughs> and so I was like, no, nah, man, I don't have dreams of this shit. I have my own band. I have all this other stuff going on. No. And then she was like, well, but this is the family business and I own this company. So every time a guy walks in and fucks me or another girl, I write him a check. If that guy is you, I save money because I'm not paying you. (laughs) She straight up exploited me for free labor. Uh, Beautiful. uh, Beautiful. And she's like, if you love me, you're going to get in there and like fuck all these girls so I can save money. Man. And so I love it. I love her. Asians and and free labor. And so I uh, put that on a t-shirt. So (laughs) when it came time to do paperwork, which I didn't know about either. I'm fucking new to all this. I'm just stressing about getting my dick out in front of this crew because that's the craziest shit. You know, like, oh God, this is this is really happening. All these lights and and I didn't have a stage name. So she's like, just put down anything. It doesn't oh fucking matter. Gosh. No one will ever <laughs> care. Oh no gosh. one will ever know about you. Like you're literally just a stunt cock, bro. Like, like who cares? Put fucking an X, put a yeah. scribble, oh. like anything. Whatever. And I was just like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I have like kind of small feet and kind of small hands. And she would make fun of me. So she's like, isn't it funny that your dick's kind of big and you're like kind of a little dude? <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Small hands. It sounds like an old like baseball player. Like small hands yeah. up to the plate to take a swing. <laughs> take your best shot, kid. Get your peanuts and popcorn. And I was like, all right, fuck it. And that was six years ago. Here we are. Oh. And it stuck with you ever since. I, al- I, I mean, almost changed. I I almost changed it once. Did uh, you? When? So my first big movie outside like of my years. wife's company uh, <laughs> was for Stormy Daniels. Oh, oh yeah. And she, okay. she uh, she's famous for something. Yeah, it's just a little something. Uh, very presidential. Yeah. yeah. So she, she's, she had been friends of ours for years, and um, she was also a director, and she likes tattooed boys. So mm-hmm. she was always bugging my wife, when are you going to let Aaron like, sure. you know, out the cage and da-da-da? And so at some point, when I started to get more requests and fans and stuff, she joined us like, all right. Go make me some more money. You know, there go go, go yeah. work for everyone. Stormy put me as the lead in the movie, like immediately. And the office called, and they're like, "What the fuck is Small Hands?" <laughs> they're like, "They're like, this is like a housewife movie, like a romance movie, like." You, and I'm on the box, looking like fucking Elvis on crack or whatever yeah. I look like, and, you know. And uh, sh- they're like, "This is for like, like very vanilla." Housewives. This is not, you know, even just my look. They were like, we didn't even watch in this movie to begin with, guys. Oh and they're like, but we're not putting small hands on the box cover. That like people won't even know what that <laughs> Please is. Please do it. Please. And so my wife was like, she's such a gangster. She's like, so don't put it on there. We got paid. Like she's like, he cashed the check. He did his job. I don't care if you don't even put him on the box at all. She's like, I don't care if the movie comes out. Like like yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah. And again, she's like, this ain't about him. We don't care about his name or his ego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's been just a succession of that. Yeah, I think that's what's kept me up. humble. <laughs> yeah. Small hands. That's great. Yeah. Uh, last question for you here. Yeah. With the the I guess the emergence of Pornhub and everybody monetizing mm-hmm. their own content, mm-hmm. especially with how famous you are and your wife. What's to stop you guys from just dominating Pornhub and monetizing all your own shit? Uh, I mean, we already do to a degree. Um, we we have uh, our hands in lots of pots and things. And so um, my wife has a channel on Pornhub that makes pretty good money. And, um, you know, through like OnlyFans and all those different streams mm-hmm. now. Um, and, it, uh, yeah, I just handled the sex and the whiskey and she there handles all the rest. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I'm just simple man, you know? the I like the, the W's, whiskey. weed, women, and whiskey, and I let her, <laughs> I let her handle the biz and all the, all the important grown up shit. That's Wait, fucking awesome. I gotta have a question for our lady listeners because mm-hmm. we get actually questions all the time about sex, mm-hmm. and they want us to talk more about sex. Or there was even a girl who hit me up and was like, "Hey, my dude wants me to play with his asshole, but don't really know how to start doing mm-hmm. it. It's kind of a new thing for me. So maybe you can answer that and like answer that for her." And also, I kind of want to know for you, like, what are some of the things that girls can do in the bedroom that you, like, just guys would absolutely love mm-hmm. um, that could help out? Because you're kind of the pro here. So I'd like to get your opinion. Yeah. I mean, there's no blanket answer because everyone's such an individual. Of course. Yeah. But I think a good place to start, well, first we'll start with the ass eating thing. Yeah. Uh, so wait, or just he, even what, playing with. He wants he her. He wants his ass played with, and she doesn't really know how to start off doing it to where she's comfortable doing it, but she wants to do something for his ass. Um, the, the, but she she wants to. She wants to for him. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the easiest thing would be to 
just ask him, well, what do you want? Yeah. You yeah. know, and like, but in a. No, but he, he's been telling her he wants to. So okay. she's like, how um, do I start and it? And if do she's I like, just weirded out by the fact that this is ass. Asshole? Do I like finger it? Maybe the next time it? you guys, they're in the, you guys, as if this is you. Sure. Uh, the Maybe next time, is. like, they're in the shower <laughs> or something where it's easy to rinse and stuff. Just, uh-huh. I don't know. Tell her to start fucking licking it or something, you know, while she's oh, okay. blowing him. Like, you know, like just travel down farther south. Blow him. Get his balls and then just keep going and see yeah. what happens. And, you know, you'll see a reaction, like oh, positive course, or yeah. negative. And, uh, you know, um, I, I think the, the communication, though, is you have to be comfortable enough with your partner to say, hey, I'm into this shit. Do you want to be into it with me? You yeah. Know, like, like, and if you can't even get to that point, then maybe you need to address other things in your sure. relationship. Um, and then as far as just what can women do to, to make to blow your mind it's it's not an act it, uh, it's a physical act mm. what went, what gets me like the most like i'm just like i can't even see straight because i'm so all about it is when a like if a girl is going to blow me and she's acting as if it's a task okay. or if it's i'm doing this for you mm-hmm. cool but like but there if a girl is like I'm like, I have a disease and the only cure is your fucking dick in my mouth. Yeah. And I need it. I need, and, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, it doesn't even matter now. A blowjob is great, but like it's this energy and like, dude, she wants this so bad. Um, you know, like, like it's, it's yeah. conveying a sense of that like, I'm going to die if I don't fucking get you right now. And then it, in whatever the way that is to, to you. And, mm-hmm. and so when a guy gets that sort of very hardcore attention, his ego gets stroked sure. and then his dick gets up and then, bah, and then bah, it's bah, all bah, bah. just great. Cause it's all, so there's you know, no act. It's that it's just being honest yeah, with it and just being doing honest what you love. and being enthusi- genuinely enthusiastic. Yeah, genuinely, let faking like it. not like I'm going to pretend to like this. Yeah. I'm going to fucking a thousand percent commit to this. And then later if you, you can talk about him like, all right, well I really threw myself into it. I didn't <laughs> like it. Cool. Or you might go, fuck, that was awesome. Let's, let's keep going. You know, that's what I was saying about being into enthusiasm, yeah. whatever that is. So it's not exactly, again, what is happening. It's the enthusiasm. If you feel like whatever it is, they really like it, that's a turn And that's when you're also able to connect on a different level. Like if I'm not, you think I'm physically attracted to every single girl I've ever had sex with? I mean, I would lie if I said yes. But if the energy's there, who fucking cares, man? If anything, I'd rather have a girl I'm not physically attracted to who who's really all about the moment and enthusiasm and being there and what we're doing than a hot girl who just wants to watch her nails dry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Trust me, man. Like, exactly. Oh, uh, this is the point in the Thank show. That was a yeah. great answer. Yeah. yeah, well, we get to the drinking bro of the week. That is somebody that's inspired you or, or helped you get to where you are. I know that sounds weird for, Ooh. yeah, born, but there's got to be And a somebody. drinker, or, or is it drinking related? No, 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 oh, yeah. anyone in life. Oof. Could be your wife, could yeah, be anyone. Mom, dad. Mom, dad. Grandfather. Sister, friend. Jesus. Second mentor. cousin. Oh, you think Jesus? Oh, no, that wasn't <laughs> my answer. Was like, that was not my answer. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I was like, that's <laughs> yeah, weird. That's, that'd be the first time. But uh, yeah. I want to thank our Lord and Savior. Uh, uh, yeah. um, <laughs> someone who's inspired me. Shit, man, you really. I'm sorry. sorry. It can be a girl. I had so much to say this I'm whole sorry, time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it can be a girl. Uh, or just helps you get where you're at. I mean, my, my wife, man, she, yeah. she like gave me this life. Like that's it. I can't even deny it. Um, and I had a cool life before, but this is just, you know, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. It, it doesn't feel real sometimes. Like I'm like almost 40. I've covered in tattoos. Didn't go to college. Like <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> you know, but I'll take it, man. I'll fucking take it. I hope I can keep earning it. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fuck. This is one of the best shows I know. ever. I know, I love this. And we fulfilled a dream. That some people say never meet your heroes, Life-long, but you've exceeded all expectations today. Dream. I know. Yeah. I had to tell my husband and he was like, Are you gonna leave me? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if he takes me, no, that's, that's, <laughs> I like the honesty he, he, though. He goes, I don't know. He goes, he goes, <laughs> yeah. he goes, I'm definitely watching this episode. I'm like, I'm sure you will. <laughs> what I like Shout is that you're just husband. you're very professional. Oh, and yeah. it's a profession and you yeah. are like good at what you do in your job and i kind of like well, thank that you. you're a humble yeah. dude man yeah well, I, and i love I porn i love working yeah i love like connecting with people yeah. so i don't want to lose that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, where can everybody like find it. you on social media uh at the small hands underscore i love that you're <laughs> embracing it yeah. some, some idiot took at the small hands like where what? are you <laughs> yeah 
We're going to find out who it is. We're going to find out who it is. Uh, Aaron, man, pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you for being Thank on you the all. show. Thank you. Drinking bros and broettes. Yeah. Yes, crossover episode. Uh, subscribe to Drinking Broettes, um, our, our new show. Uh, and then, as always, you can find us on YouTube. Uh, we're fucking live, goddamn, eight times a week at this point with all the shows. Uh, for Tiffany Hart, Jesse Wiseman, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. We're the Drinking Bros and Broettes. Good night, everyone.